Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia News Line and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 23rd of November. Rescuers close in on workers trapped in tunnel in India's Uttarkashi. Lashkar terrorists neutralize an encounter in India's Jammu and Kashmir. And India reacts to reports of plots to kill Khalistani terrorists in US. And now for all the details. Rescue operations to save lives of 41 workers trapped in India's Uttarkashi were in final stages, officials said on Thursday, adding that no stone is being left unturned to evacuate them. From scientists to engineers, all have joined hands in the mission to save the lives of the trapped men. Stuck in the 4.5-kilometer tunnel, the workers are safe, authorities have said, with access to light, oxygen, food, water and medicines. Medical equipment has also reached the tunnel site and 40 ambulances were on standby till the last reports came in. Uh, theoretically, why tonight? But if some other impediment comes, then we are there to handle it. Because we don't know what it will throw us in our path again. Right. We have had these issues earlier. So I think it is good to hope for the best and be prepared for whatever comes our way. Right. Authorities have not said what caused the tunnel collapse, but the region is prone to landslides, earthquakes and floods. Two terrorists were neutralized while four Indian Army officials, including two officers, were killed in action during an encounter in Rajouri district of India's Jammu and Kashmir territory. According to defence spokesperson, a joint operation by security forces was launched in Bajimal area of Rajouri earlier last week based on intelligence inputs. Contact established on Wednesday and intense firefight ensued, the statement added. The slain terrorists were affiliated to lashkar e taiba Quarry, who was among the terrorists killed, was an expert in IEDs and is believed to be the mastermind of the Dangri and Kandi attacks. The operation was still in progress till the last reports came in. Our strategy needs to undergo a change. We are only reacting. Pakistan continues to infiltrate and we only react and try and eliminate them. We need to change the strategy and become proactive. What that involves is known to the powers that be. And unless until we do that and increase the cost to Pakistan by an order of magnitude, this will continue. Moving on, hours after the UK-based Financial Times reported that authorities in the US thwarted a plot to kill Khalistani separatist leader Gurpatwan Singh Pannu on American soil, India said it is examining the US inputs on the nexus between organized criminals, terrorists and others. During a presser, Foreign Ministry spokesperson Arindam Bakchi said that India takes such input seriously since it impinges on its own national security interests as well. He further added that issues in the context of US inputs are already being examined by relevant departments. Panu had recently asked six not to fly on Air India plane on and after November 19, claiming that there was a threat to their lives. He also threatened that Air India would not be allowed to operate globally. The UN Refugee Agency UNHCR on Wednesday urged Pakistan to halt deportation of undocumented Afghan refugees during the harsh winter season. Highlighting the need of international protection for vulnerable individuals, the UNHCR said the return of Afghan refugees should be voluntary. This comes as Pakistani police has started door-to-door -door campaign to search homes and expel Afghanis who had not left already. Reportedly, over 370,000 Afghan refugees have returned to Afghanistan since the eviction plan was announced. Many came after the Taliban retook Afghanistan in 2021 and a large number have been present since the 1979 Soviet invasion. Islamabad has so far not entertained calls by international organizations and refugee agencies to reconsider the move. However, Pakistan's Supreme Court has admitted a petition challenging the forced deportation, hearing for which is yet to begin. We are appealing uh, to Pakistan that this has to halt 
uh, we need to see a slowdown of these large movements because let's not forget we have an ongoing humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan and this is adding an other pressure and a strain not only on Afghan people but also on the humanitarian community who are already to a, a level of, 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 of stretch in terms of dealing uh, with those Afghans inside, the, inside Afghanistan who need our help. Moving on, melting glaciers in Gilgit Baltistan are endangering mountain villages in the region which still await government efforts to mitigate the effects. Our report. In Pakistan-occupied territory of Gilgit-Baltistan, 51-year-old Tariq Jamil and 23 other volunteers regularly measure the ice movements of glaciers. Their village, Hassanabad, is an hour's hike downstream and the 200 families living there are increasingly under threat from unstable lakes formed by the melting glaciers. The village is part of a UN-backed project which helps communities downstream of melting glaciers adapt. Since 2017, weather stations and rainfall measuring sensors have been installed. But people elsewhere in the region worry that Pakistan government is not doing enough with no mitigation efforts at all from deadly floods that erupt from melting glaciers. इसकी वजह से बनने वाली झील के वजह से हमने हसनाबाद गांव को गुजरता पांच सालों में शरीर नुकसानात भी हुए हैं और इस झील के बनने के बाद कम्युनिटी को शुरू शुरू के सालों में बहुत ज्यादा दुश्वारियां थी क्योंकि मॉनिटरिंग का जो जिम्मेदारी थी शुरू के एक दो साल में कम्युनिटी को दी गई थी कि चूंकि बाहर के लोगों को इतना इल्म भी नहीं था इस एरिया के बारे में हम लोग वीकली कभी कभार डेली बेस पे भी आते थे झील को मॉनिटर करने के लिए अब ये ग्लोफ टू के प्रोजेक्ट्स के बाद हमें थोड़ी सी अभी आसानी होगी ये तमाम इंस्टॉलेशन डिवाइस के इंस्टॉलेशन के बाद कम्युनिटी को आसानी होगी The International Center for Integrated Mountain Development says changes driven by global warming to glaciers in the Hindu Kush Himalayan region are largely irreversible. The region has over 200 glacial lakes considered dangerous. At the time of the time, this glacier was here. This glacier was made here. At that time, we didn't have a glacier here. The glacier was on the ground. The glacier was on the ground. हमारे उम्र में हम माल चराते हैं उस वक्त से लेकर अब ये कुछ दस पंद्रह साल हो गया ग्लेशियर पीछे गया और हम इधर पुल बनाए हैं माल मुशुन के लिए उस वक्त तक ये पुल ये ग्लेशियर यहाँ पर था ऊपर वाला ग्लेशियर नहीं ऊपर वाला ग्लेशियर ये कोर नहीं था यहाँ पर ग्लेशियर था With leaders gathering for the UN's COP28 climate summit in November, pressure is ramping up on wealthy countries to fulfil promises to help developing nations. Moving on, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has urged opposition BNP, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, to join the polls to check who the people want in power. Speaking during the meeting of ruling Awami League's parliamentary nomination board, Hasina said BNP could at least sell the nomination papers, which is one of their businesses. BNP, whose leaders are either in exile or jailed, have announced boycotting the elections if Hasina doesn't allow a caretaker government to oversee the election. PM Hasina has repeatedly rebuffed the opposition calls to resign, blaming the BNP for deadly street protests in recent days. Bangladesh is set to hold the election on 7th of January. Devout Hindus in parts of India offered prayers and took holy dips on Thursday as they marked Tulsi Viva on the auspicious occasion of Ekadashi. On this day, the ritual of marrying the Tulsi plant, which is holy to the Hindus, to Shaligram, a symbolic form of Hindu god Lord Krishna, is performed. Devotees with much adoration gathered on the banks of River Ganga in the holy towns of Varanasi and Prayagraj to perform the wedding rituals and pray for the well-being of their families. The festival continues for five days and concludes on the full moon day. It also marks the beginning of the auspicious Hindu marriage season in India. Now, today's day, all the women have been able to do their own work and have been able to do their own work. They have been able to do their own work and have been able to do their own work. And this family and this family have been able to do their own work. 
that's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.